everyone, it's Andrea over at SewSpire.com and I am here today to show you how to sew this very sweet clutch. This project is special because it was actually a request from one of our subscribers for a young lady who was recently diagnosed with life-threatening allergies um, and she is a tween. For those of you that are not familiar, that's kind of the age between child and teenager, so that those middle school years. And as a result of her allergies, she's now required to carry an EpiPen on her person at all times. So if you have a teenage daughter, then you know they are very particular about what they will carry. And so this young lady needed something very small that she could put her EpiPen in as well as her cell phone. And so I designed this little clutch for her. And on the back here are two belt loops, which so if she wants, like if it's winter and she's wearing a sweatshirt or a big shirt, she can thread this right on her belt loop and move it to the back of her pants or the side and her sweatshirt will just cover that right up and then she can have everything she needs with her if let's say it's summertime warmer weather and she's out with friends and stuff she can just carry it on her wrist and then on the inside the dilemma was that when she was going for a phone um, like teenagers do like we all do right that the EpiPen wouldn't fall out. So I incorporated kind of an overlapping envelope style pocket with hook and loop closure there. And I'm gonna open that up so hopefully you can see it. And she's gonna be able to put the EpiPen in there and then close that up with the hook and loop tape so that there's no chance that she's going to lose that when she's loading or unloading her phone. And then this particular one closes with a snap closure. So she would obviously want to put her phone screen towards the belt loops so that when she closed the snap it didn't damage the screen. Um, if you want to substitute hook and loop tape Closure, that's a great option, but I thought for a young lady that crackling noise of the Velcro would draw attention and she would not appreciate that. So I went with the snap. I do not recommend magnetic snap closures if you're going to use, um, put your cell phone in there. Okay, so it has that little wristlet strap. This comes together very quick and obviously. It was designed with a special purpose, but this clutch is super sweet and anyone could use it. So I have a um, challenge for you all associated with this clutch. So if you're interested in learning more about this design and my challenge, make sure you watch this week's blog post. But let's get started sewing now. Um, I'll show you this cute one I made. This was a prototype. It has little zebras and I did a little patchwork panel on the back there. That was the first one. Very, very cute. So for this project, you're going to need to cut eight rectangles out that measure four and a half inches tall by eight inches wide, as well as one very long piece of material that's three inches wide by 26 inches long. You're going to need an O-ring or a D-ring that's approximately one inch. And then you're going to need a snap set. I order my snaps from snapsource.com, but you can find those at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, the Joann's. And you're also going to need a two inch piece of hook and loop tape. That's the sew-in kind. So to begin, we're going to craft the belt loops and these straps. So take that long piece of fabric and fold it in half and press it and then open that up and bring those outer edges inward to meet on that center press line and then fold that over one more time and press to create that strap. 
you're going to top stitch down the open edge first and then go ahead and top stitch down the other edge as well. I've created one very long strap. I want to take one of those fabric panels that we pre-cut and then I'm going to cut off two four inch pieces from that long strap and these little belt loops are going to be formed by folding over the top and the bottom edge a half an inch like that and then positioning that two inches in and centered so two inches in from each side and centered with the top and the bottom and you can go ahead and put a pin through that to hold it you're going to do the same thing with the other piece you're just folding over that top and bottom edge and then placing those raw folded edges down so we can encase those with a seam and they'll be hidden and again, that's two inches in and centered from the top and the bottom. And then you want to go ahead and stitch across and back stitch several times at the top and the bottom of those belt loops to keep those fastened. All right, I have attached the belt loops. Now I want to take an additional panel. This would be the front, so make sure you choose one that you really like. And I'm going to position that right sides facing on top of that belt loop panel. And then I'm going to fold that fabric in half and just gently angle this bottom right hand corner so that this clutch has a rounded base. Now this particular project requires a really narrow quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to stitch all the way around the base and leave the top open. All right, then you can go ahead and turn that right side out. And then fold that top edge over a quarter inch. And you can press that at the iron or with your fingers. And the exterior is complete. And you just want to set that aside where we craft the interior. We're going to begin with that little hidden pocket. So take two more panels and take the top edges of both, fold it over a half an inch and over a half an inch and then stitch down that to create a nice hem. Okay, I have two hemmed panels which will fashion the interior pocket. I want to take that two inch piece of hook and loop tape and I'm going to fold these panels in half and then just crease um, them on the center line so that I know where to position the hook and loop tape. So it's going to be at center just slightly below that hem and I'm going to go ahead and stitch that down. Okay and then the second piece is going to come over the top of that and overlap. So you're going to take the rough edge of that hook and loop tape and attach it at center on the back side. just below that hem. All right, and then just attach that hook and loop tape so that you know it lines up nice. Take one more panel there and position that pocket right atop of that. Go ahead and align the base and then put a pin in either side to hold that all secure. 
So your base and your sides are aligned, but then when you turn it over, you're going to see you should have just a little bit of excess there. Go ahead and trim that up so that the pocket and the panel are the same four and a half inches by eight. There you go. And then I want you to stitch down the side so we can remove these pins. Okay, take out those pins because remember we have to fold this and angle the corners. So that's going to be really hard to do with pins in there. So take one more panel, position that right side, facing on top of that, and then fold your interior in half and go ahead and softly angle that bottom right hand corner. And now you have something that looks very similar to the exterior and you're just going to stitch all the way around that U portion and leave the top open. Okay, now the interior is complete and we're going to leave that with the wrong side out, which is actually correct, and just fold over that top edge a quarter inch. And that's what it looks like there. So you've got the little pocket in there and the top edge folded over and then go ahead and insert that into that exterior panel. You want the pocket towards the belt loops and you want to align the side seams first. So once you get one seam aligned, put a pin in that and then move to the other side and get that side seam aligned. And then you can align the front and the back. Okay, you can see that's really taking shape. It's so sweet. I love this print. Now we need to craft the flap closure. So that will use the remaining two panels which you're going to position right sides facing and then fold in half and we're going to take a bigger angle on these so we're going to round that flap at the base and then come up and take off about a half an inch off of the side and your flap should look like that and then you can use a more generous 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance on this. You're going to stitch all the way around the U and then leave the top of that flap open so we can turn it. Okay and for the flap go ahead and trim up any excess that you have there so you're going to be trimming that down to a quarter inch anyways. We just need that flap to be smaller than the exterior, hence the larger seam allowance. Then turn that right side out. If you need to, you can press this at the iron. This is a really good quality linen cotton blend, so I don't have to use the iron. And there is the flap, very, very sweet. We're going to go ahead and install the decorative part and the female part of the snap on this exterior flap. So choose the side that you like to be out and then the decorative part just gets centered approximately a half an inch up from that bottom edge of the flap and I just use a little stick that comes with the batting to poke those prongs up and then a little hammer. I position that female portion of the snap right on top of those prongs and then I use a little hammer to set that. And now I have that snap attached. I want to go ahead and insert the raw edges of that flap in between the interior and the exterior layers on that belt loop side of the pouch. 
And so when you pin this back together, you want to make sure that the interior and the exterior layers, the top layers there, are still aligned and that your flap is even and centered. Okay, now we need to finish installing that snap. So fold your flap over how you would like that to close. If you're gonna be carrying bulkier items and you wanna situate that snap higher up so you have more cargo room. And once you determine where you need that snap, go ahead and lift up that flap slightly and then using the remaining prong piece, just poke that into the fabric to leave a little, little holes there so you know where to feed that through because you're going to reach inside and feed those prongs up through the interior and the exterior layers and then just use that little stick to poke it through and the holes that I previously made will allow me to line this up. So take the male portion of that snap and fit that inside the flap portion of the snap and then bring that down to close and it should rest nice right on top of those prongs for you. Make sure it's even and then just give it another whack with the hammer. Okay, that snap is secure. Now we want to take an additional four inches off of that long strap. And you'll need your one inch D-ring. You want to thread that little four inch piece through and fold it over to create a little tabby, which you're going to put in between the exterior and the flap, just a little bit to the left of that belt loop. And this is easier to do if you unsnap that. So that little tab tucks right in the back there. And now we're going to remove the machine deck. This may fit on your deck like that if you have a very narrow neck. It does not fit on mine, so I'm just gonna fold that front part under a little and then situate this up there. I have to stitch all the way around that top edge and secure all those layers, so I'm just gonna move really slow working around, making sure that I'm not catching the under layer in it, you know, that's the front. And I want to back stitch at that little tab. Okay, I made it all the way around and the exterior of this sweet little clutch is complete. It's adorable super cute super functional now we just need to attach that wristlet strap so the remaining piece of fabric there measures 14 inches long you're going to thread that through the top of that d or o ring whichever you selected and bring that up so the raw edges meet at the top go ahead and stitch a quarter inch seam across and back to secure that okay then take the strap and flip that around so that seam is now on the inside and you're going to work that seam down so it meets right up against that top of that hardware and go ahead and stitch as close as you can to that to encase that seam. And then that completes our project and you can see that sits perfectly on the wrist and then you can hold it like that if you want. You can of course tuck this strap inside and then wear it on your belt or you don't even have to tuck the strap in. You could put it on your belt and just tuck the strap under your belt. So I hope you enjoyed this project. It was a pleasure to design. I am always excited to hear from subscribers so if you have a product idea or a vision and you're just not sure how to conceptualize that 
feel free to send me an email and I will let you know what is possible. Again, don't forget to tune into this week's studio update and I'm going to share more um, information about this design with you. Until we meet again, as always, please know the creative genius in me celebrates the creative genius in you. Have a beautiful week, everyone.